Today we're looking at Stephen Speaks to the Sanhedrin in Acts 7 um, verses 1 to 53. And I love these verses. They give us such a beautiful and powerful overview of Old Testament history. And I love reading them because they remind me of the faithfulness of God. These verses are really full, so I've just pulled out a few points that speak to me. The first is how God keeps his promises, even though it may take a long time and it may seem to us to be impossible. God had promised Abraham that his descendants would possess the land he'd guided him to. And yet at the time, he had no children, no money and no land. The second is that life may be incredibly hard, but God does not forsake his people. These verses remind us that the Israelites experienced slavery, famine, and their infant sons were killed. I find it helpful to remember that I might not get what I want. God doesn't promise me that life will be easy, that my heart won't get broken, but he does promise to be with me in all things. The third point is that we may disconnect ourselves from God due to the things that we've done, but the plan that God has for our lives still stands. Moses had committed murder and had lived in the desert for 40 years before the angel spoke to him. So I'm encouraged that it's never too late to return to God and to hear him and follow his calling. The fourth is that God is faithful and he is our deliverer. And it never fails to leave me awestruck how God delivered the Israelites out of Egypt. And if I am ever having a wobble, I remind myself that the God I love and the God that loves me is the same God that parted the Red Sea. And finally, I love how God spoke to Abraham, Joseph and Moses exactly where they were. And it reminds me of a season back in uh, the mid 90s when God was moving in an increasingly powerful and often dramatic way. And the epicentre seemed to be a church in Canada and I was desperate to go there. I wanted to be as close to God as possible. I wanted to encounter him. I was a poor university student, um, but I managed to find a way. And to say I was excited is an understatement. But my experience wasn't positive. I was left feeling really hurt and disappointed. But shortly afterwards, God spoke to me really tenderly and he made it clear that I don't have to go anywhere or do anything special, but I can encounter him wherever I am. So in this current season, I think we should all be encouraged to be open to God, to eagerly expect to encounter him, to hear his voice, to receive his comfort, counsel and guidance wherever we are.